I got my bear gun. You got to stay down. Okay. Hey. Alright, let's try to get some of them out. Bear load! <laughs> oh my god, it's Bruce! Should we say it's something? Bruce. Yeah! I made it to Alaska, you yeah. guys! Oh, In Alaska! Yeah. With Brooke and Laura! So exciting. Hell yeah! Are we allowed to swear? You can do whatever the okay. f you want. Yeah, so I made it to Alaska. I had, uh, you know, a few Heather minor mish along the road. mishaps here and there. I, I may have booked uh, for a flight out of San Diego and not San Antonio at first. Classic. So I'm a day late on the, the girl adventure, but uh, I'm with Laura Zara. You know her, survivalist with Brooke Little Bear over here, photographer, bear tour guide expert. Let's try not to get eaten in Alaska. I got my bear gun here, my Glock 20, 10 millimeter. I was just really alarmed that she traveled with the bear load. It says bear load on it, so. <laughs> bear load! Uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna load up a couple magazines. Uh, bear no, just, just for, uh, you know, in case we need to. Drop a load in a bear. Drop some loads into a bear. It all circles back to come, and I don't know why. Yeah. As it turns out, a lady was stabbed to death over there last night. Another reason why we have this, it's not just for the bears. I can still carry like a motherfucker. What was that, that last fact you were reading, Laura? Alaska ranked first among all 50 U.S. states in 2020 in number of females murdered by males in single victim and single offender homicides with a rate of 3.4 deaths per 100,000 females. So that's our odds. Women, women be dying out here in Alaska, so stay strapped, ladies. Fuck. This video is sponsored by Bespoke Post. Bespoke Post is a monthly membership club that delivers boxes of rad stuff from under the radar brands. I'm real pretentious when it comes to my coffee. Now that I have this siphon coffee making device, I can feel like an extra on set of Breaking Bad while I get my coffee fix. The Explorer kit comes with so much cool stuff. Look at this tasty treat. Look at this headlamp for when I inevitably get lost in the wilderness. This bad bitch can fit so much vodka water in it. Water, you put water in here. Ah, hydration. This Terra knife can do just about anything. I use it to scrape the flesh off of dead animals that I find in the woods. Each box has around $70 in value, but you only pay a fraction of the price. You only pay for what you want. You'll get a box assigned to you each month based on the quiz you take when signing up. And before it's shipped, you'll get a preview of what comes inside to decide if you'd like to keep it, swap it for a different box, or skip the month entirely for absolutely no charge. Plus, the box lineup changes every month. 90% of the products in Bespoke Post boxes come from small businesses, many of which are based right here in the U.S. To get 20% off your first box, click the link in the description below and enter Heatherland20 at checkout, or go to bespokepost.com slash Heatherland20. Short. No. <laughs> no. I was on their hands. They were like freaking out I mean, a little. I like stepped forward. I was like, "You are such a child." <laughs> it's fine. We're fine. We made it, guys. We were about 25 minutes off the coast of Juneau, Alaska, with Brooke Little Bear. She's a wildlife photographer and a bear guide. She's pretty much badass. We got Laura Zara here. I'm standing also, on a, a mound because I feel short. very short. So. <laughs> Laura Zara is a survivalist by trade. She's been on Naked and Afraid, a whole bunch wilderness expert and all around badass. So we're about to go look for bears. But before we do, I want these guys to talk to you about the difference between, was it the reaction time? For bears? <laughs> yeah, I can't fucking remember what it is. This isn't something that I would recommend doing anywhere where there's bears. The bears here have something that we call a very short, overt reaction distance. So the proximity we're able to get to brown bears here and feel comfortable with is significantly smaller than what you might want to experience literally almost anywhere else. So um, we're about to go find some bears. Bears! Bears! I'm tall. <laughs> We'll hang our food. Oh yeah. Is this this it? This is home? This is home. Fuck yeah. Found it. We live here now. So we set up our tent, which we're gonna move right here. Laura is pulling these branches out of the way so we can have more of a flat space. And uh, Brooke is setting up our bear fence. But what you do is once you get the, set, the fence set up, the thought process is, is that if any bears wander by, when their little nose touches the fence, they'll get a shock. So whenever they come by, they're like, oh, last time I got there, something bit me on the nose. I'm gonna give it a, a wider berth this time. So it nice. just kind of like trains the bears in the area not to come fuck around by where we're hanging out. That's so cool. Here. Be careful when crossing the bear, the 
their fence because you, you might know. get a quick, you know, pussy zap. <laughs> that pussy zap. Super hot. <laughs> You're so fucking cute. You're not scared of shit, are you? Heather is apparently Snow White. <laughs> well, I found a blueberry. Blueberries. Bed. Very cool. Mm, there's another one. Oh, yeah, hell yeah. Fuck. Oh, right there. Oh, yeah. Brooke, you want one? Hell yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Double check before you eat them. They have worms here. Oh. Oh, Brooke, what? Why does eight <laughs> Brooke. <laughs> like parasitic worms? No, 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 no. Just like, they're fine. Like, like you're not going to die. Oh. You don't want to get inside your butthole. God yeah. damn, dude. Looks like it's we bad. should go on a journey <laughs> to the afterlife. <laughs> Look what Brooke found. <laughs> Dear jawbone, nothing magical like a, <laughs> like a grizz or a fucking, or I guess brown bear. Oh my God. That totally looks Lord, like a worm. Get your butt ready. Hold on. I'm getting my butt ready. <laughs> Look at it! It's so beautiful! I think it's Very far gone. Cool, Brooke. Yeah, this one's not alive anymore. Yeah. I still could use it for a scarf. Should we keep it? Probably. Okay. So the bears feed this waterfall, according to Brooke. And uh, here along the shoreline, there's just a bunch of carnage. Just dead salmon. You got to stay down. Okay. Hey. Stand up. We're good. You guys are cool with it. We're gonna take like 10 steps forward. Yep. Yep. Just get strapped, ladies. Bang on you, little bears. And you never know when you're gonna have to shoot a motherfucker. This is what Brooke calls chill ass bear mode. So, this is what we're doing. This is just another day. Yeah, it's just another, it's another day. <laughs> Love this for me. We're gonna stand up. I'm gonna go stay standing for me. That first standoff was really tense. She like genuinely thought she might be able to push us around. We did so well in that standoff that by the time we were here out ahead of them and she came to try to test us again, all it took was going from this to this for her to be like, oh, sorry, you guys win. That like set us up perfectly for success. You guys heard that? That just scared the shit out of me. It was awesome. You thought it was awesome? So awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I love this for me. It's great. <laughs> totally fine. I think I have a death wish until I'm in this scenario and I'm like, no, praise God. Let's go to church. This is almost as hard as Box Turtle Simulator. Dude, it's not that hard. <laughs> <laughs> so good. It's so good. The bears were just huffing and I was like, I don't. What did you say? I don't. I, I hate, hate it. it. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> oh, you were saying I hate this. What's that? I don't. I'm not a fan I of this. this. <laughs> you're laying on the ground. You're being like gnawed on by a bear, and you're like, I hate this. <laughs> you're like actively in a sinking ship. Yeah. And you're like, I, I hate, hate this. this. <laughs> the plane is crashing. I hate this. Guys, like, this might be a hot take, but I fucking hate this. Dude, dude, I'll be like internally panicking, but like, just like, God. like, man. What life choices do I make to get me here? I hate this. Uh, someone's gonna be like, Heather, do you have any last words? I hate, I hate, I hate this. this. I hate this. Going on her grave. No. <laughs> Laying in my grave, I hate this. <laughs> we 
to the best of our ability, don't ever want these bears to learn that they can push humans around. In places where co-dominance is the practice, our wishes take priority. If you guys end up in bear country and you are in like a coastal area where bear viewing is a thing, get in touch with like a bear guide outfitter and find out what the standard is of behavior. Are you practicing co-dominance with the bears and holding your ground? Or are you yielding to the bears and letting them push you so that they can have the space? I can't tell what she's doing, but she's actually cutting <laughs> I her under her eyes off of my body. Did I have to take off five layers of fucking clothes? Oh my God. I'm fucking laughing so hard Dude. and peeing really aggressively. <laughs> We're all free. It's so hot. We're in one tip. Mine truly. Why is it here? We're doing so good. We're on an angle, so we're sleeping like this. <laughs> we're packed in this tent like it's fucking sardines. Like, this is great. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I hate this. <laughs> okay, we're day two now. It uh, rained all night. That was pretty sweet. Time for coffee. This is the GeoPress that I use, so it just kind of purifies any kind of water. This has a lot of iron in it, so the water's really brown. Oh, I did this wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I did it wrong! I was supposed to put the water in the bottom part! All right, start over. Shit. So what you do is you put it in the bottom part. This is the part where the purified water comes out, so don't be a jackass like me. <laughs> no, no. Put your back into it. Oh my god, okay. And there's your clean water. All right. Now we're gonna make coffee. Cause we fucking need it. Ultralight Java drip, flip it on the edge of your little mug here. You add your coffee, don't burn yourself. Pour over top of your coffee here. Wee. You've got the best you're gonna get. You're in the middle of bumfuck nowhere. We're three women in the Alaskan wilderness. What could go wrong? <laughs> Day two. Starting to pour a little bit more. Uh, this is. This is what we have to walk through now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yep. Let's avoid this the best I can. Oh, there's no avoiding. No, fuck! There's no avoiding. Okay. Yeah, I remember when we were dry. Thick as dick. Thick as dick out here. <laughs> it has not been dry one day, but. Uh, We've agreed this is type two fun. It is suck right now, but we are gonna look back on this fondly. Look at those little faces, look at their little faces. Oh my God, look at those seals. Look at all my little friends. Hello. You're fucking cute. Hi. Oh, that's bad. Oh my God. So look at all those whales. I love it. Bubble netting. Bubble netting. Bubble netting whales. We just saw whales come up to like group B. It rarely happens in Juno. So. That was so cool. So there's essentially a hurricane coming towards us. So we're getting extracted early. In the meantime, we're breaking down camp and I'm making some more coffee. Um, we're probably going to go inland somewhere and look for some wolves. Here's our rescue plane. Coming to get us before the hurricane hits. God, I'm so afraid they weren't gonna make it. Time to uh, pack up all of our shit. Head up on to the next location. It's hard for you to do this. It's not steep, it's like climb a mountain, they say. It'll be fun, they say. Yeah. Hey, at least there's no bears. <laughs> it's a banana slug? Yeah, they're so cool. Very squishy. <laughs> what a cool little guy. Oh, Bruce, come here. Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, shit. Oh, my God, that's like he's, he's quilled. Fucking full quilled. Okay. Come here. Oh, oh. Bruce, Bruce, come here. I'm quick. Oh, God. All right, let's try to get some of them out. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that sucks, I know. It's a good dog. Someday. It's a good dog. You'll stop touching the spicy mice. Spicy mice. This is fourth time going after 
after a porcupine in the past several weeks, so. Hey, Bruce. It's a GSP way, man. No spanking knife, so you just don't learn. Got it. So we found more blueberry bushes. Heather, can I see your hands? <laughs> can I see your tongue? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, those look like cranberries. God, they do, but they're not. They don't have worms. Red huckleberries? Red huckleberries. Guys, we found red huckleberries on Death Mountain. They're delightful. They're so mm. good. They're like candy. Mm. Thank you. They're literally like sour patch kids. Mmm. Fuck me, they're good. Very sour. We've, uh, what, summited Thunder Mountain? By accident. By accident. Oops. <laughs> yeah. Oops, I did it again. <laughs> It's been a breeze. This is the most physically exerting thing I've ever done in my life. I want a beer. Okay guys, we are out in the Alaskan wilderness getting rained on pretty heavily. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit that notification bell. Be sure to check out Brooke, littlebearwildlife.com. Yes, she does awesome photography right here. And then check out Laura Zara. You can see me on Decivilized on Carbon TV. Yeah, so check out these badass ladies. Be sure to do the subscribe notification thing. We're gonna go uh, hike some more down uh, Fall on Your Ass Mountain. <laughs> Bear load! <laughs>